I'm Lori Graham Brady. I'm a professor of civil and systems engineering, and I'm the associate director of the Hopkins Extreme Materials Institute. I use AI to drive science and engineering, in particular materials engineering. When we're talking about the traditional materials modeling, that trial and error Edisonian approach would actually take decades to centuries. Uh, the physics-based models sped up that process to maybe years where we could say if we had a material like this we can predict it will perform in this way. AI is really great at looking at data and seeing patterns that we don't necessarily see ourselves through standard statistical models or other models. It enables us to do analyses that are significantly faster, orders of magnitude faster, than what we can using standard physics-based analyses to weeks and months. So imagine you have an experiment that has a huge number of inputs that you have to decide on. Maybe you have 100 decisions you have to make before you actually run the experiment. And you can only run a limited number of these experiments. AI can help you decide which combinations of those inputs you should pick so you can maximize your information. So it's really good at guiding future experimentation in terms of the knowledge to be gained.